What's up everybody from Baltimore, Maryland. I'm right downtown at Pennsylvania Station. Also known as just Penn Station. It's the train station, Amtrak. Trains going to New York, down to Washington DC, down to Florida, whatever. Amtrak's in here, the Mark train. But I'm here for a shoe shine, specifically to get my Stan Smith Adidas cleaned up. I got these white leather sneakers here and I've been wearing them all around New York City. They could totally use a cleanup. Carlos inside is the owner of the shoe shine stand and he's gonna do it. Oh, what do you think about avocado socks? <laughs> I think it's cool because it matches the green, you know? Let's go inside. While we're walking inside, I want to tell you why I enjoy doing this sneaker cleaning video. Well, a lot of us, we buy sneakers, we wear them until they're dirty, and then we toss them away. But actually, you don't need to do that. You can clean them up. It's called recycling. Make them new again. Carlos can do that. Could they sir can help you? Yeah, I, I could totally use a, a sneaker cleanup. Oh, sure. I'll whiten them up for you, man. I'll All right. whiten them up for you, sir. Thank you, Carlos. You can have a seat right there. All right. How are you? Doing all right. Last time I was here with your, with, with your, uh, with your colleague. Oh, John Paul. John Paul, yeah, he did great. Yeah, John Paul, I always call him the Michael Jordan of shoe shine. <laughs> Michael Jordan, wow. He's the best, man, he's the best. John Paul been with me for like maybe about 15 years. Right he's on. the best. But how long have you been a shoe shiner? Uh, I would say about 16 years prior to that. Before that, I drove a uh, long distance tractor trailer, but I would say about 16 years as well. Yeah. Then, new, the Sun newspaper wrote a newspaper article on me at the top. Cool. And uh, now you're going to have a YouTube video. Oh, oh th th thank you. It's my pleasure. Thank you, too. Yeah, and the CDs are. Uh, it's all, yeah, all leather, so that's a good thing. Now, your shoe strings, I can't do nothing about them. Uh, I don't have any um, replacements or washing machine, anything like that, but I would, but I would recommend that you get them washed as well. All right, so I, I, maybe I just wash them myself, huh? Yeah, just wash them yourself, that'd be great. Then these are nice. Who are these made? Are these uh, Adidas? Yeah, these are these are classic, vintage Stan Smith Adidas. All right, I like that classic. Yeah. <laughs> vintage. I love these, really, and they're so comfortable. A lot of times Adidas isn't wide enough for me, but these are wide enough. Okay, okay. I always go with the Stan Smith Adidas or the Adidas Gazelles. This right here is classic here, man. You know, I really like Pumas, but they're always too slim for me. You know, I never could, uh, I never could wear or get into Puma. I never, I guess I just never liked the Puma. Oh, you don't the like the style? No. I'll use, I now wear New Balance because they're more comfortable on my feet, you know? New Balance are pretty good. Oh, New Balance are so comfortable. Yeah, they're, now they have some comfortable shoes. And they're, nice, and they're wide enough, too. And when you get to be, see, you're a young man, but when you get to be 58, you know, you want something comfortable on your feet. You don't want pretty. <laughs> <laughs> you <Yeah>. want comfort. <laughs> this right here, this is just nail polish removal. Oh, okay. But it has acetone in it. So as opposed to me buying acetone from the hardware store, 
and then cutting it with water, the nail polish remover, which has acetone in it, is already cut. Oh, okay. So it's easier. So when you think about nail polish remover, you think about nail polish remover, removing everything, and nail polish is pretty hard. But the acetone, the nail polish remover, removes everything. And then it doesn't leave any stains or leaves it yellowish or whatever. It just leaves it uh, white and white. And, and, and it doesn't take off the paint or anything? Correct, correct. Okay, cool. That's what we want. Because I've been getting messy all around the streets, you know? Well, Shushan Man love mess. <laughs> That's good for business. Good for excellent for business. <laughs> When the last time you had these clean, Jason? About two months ago, maybe. Okay. No, man, no, less than that. Okay, good, good. Yeah, maybe good. a month ago, I think. Good, good, good. A month and a half, I remember. A month and a half ago in Mexico at a shoe shine stand. Hey, now I'm gonna tell you on um, YouTube, I've seen a lot of those. The guy, gentleman in Mexico, the shoe shiners. You know, you have respect. I have respect for shoe shiners around the world, and they have their own different style. Everyone does, yeah. But you know, uh, the same results at the end, but their own techniques. You know, and that's a good thing. What part of Mexico were you in? Well, that was Mexico City. Of traveling, Jason. Yeah, quite a bit, as much as I can. That's Now, your shoestrings are fairly new. You know, I'm looking at them now and considering I thought that these are gray. <laughs> they got gray only from dirt. <laughs> uh, they, they, they should be white. So they weren't colored, they weren't colored like that then. So they are, they was dirty, they are a little dirty then. You know, I think the reason it looks gray is because the last shoe shiner that, that cleaned my sneakers a month and a half ago in Mexico City, uh -huh. he didn't take off the laces and clean them. So the dirt that he was he was just kind of you know spreading it around, and I think it got it got all smoothened out into the laces, and now now it looks gray. Well, it's, that's it's, why it's different. It's maybe, different, Jason. Maybe maybe it's all right. I mean, you got uh, yeah, you got. I mean, you can, you can go with it now if you wanted to. No, it looks it needs some major cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you said major. Yeah, they, that ain't that ain't looking fly. <laughs> I like your technique of the nail remover. I guess I, I didn't know I could go to the nail shop and get my sneakers clean. The ninety nine cent store. The ninety nine cent. The dollar store. store. Yeah. That's a that's a special uh, special technique that we can all use at home. Yeah. Or come here to Baltimore Penn Station and get Carlos. 
to do it for you. Well, yeah, that would be great too, you know. But I don't mind telling my customers uh, how they can save some money because I think that's so important, giving somebody some insight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think it's important. The stuff when you had to come see the shoeshine guy, that's great. But for other little things that you may can do yourself, you want you want to know, you know? Now the reason I'm using, you know, the white paper towel is because I can discard it and I know that it's actually white. You know, any dirt that I pick up on it, I don't transfer it back to your shoe from a, a rag, you know? Yeah, exactly, because if you use the rag from, that you used, used on somebody else's shoes, it's gonna get, it's gonna get all dirty on my white Correct, shoes. correct, yep, there you go. I know that because it's happened before. Has it, Jason? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because I've see, got a lot of shoe shines in my life now. But see, with the paper towels, man, you know, you don't have to worry about that actually being repeated. Now, I'm curious, Jason, because uh, you've made quite a few videos. Uh, you do a lot of traveling. Uh, and I admire that. That's very impressive. Thank you. I admire you too. And what you're doing and stuff like that and that's done. Uh, so are you, what billionaire are you related to? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I just, <laughs> I just travel as cheap as possible. I mean, well, I mean, even the most people that have money are going to try to find the most thriftiest place and way to get around. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, oh, I, I go really local and I go where the go where my dollar goes the most. Okay, okay. We need to go bang for the buck. So what it means is where I'm going is where it's cheaper than even being here in Baltimore. <laughs> Alright now, okay. That's the travel hack. To, that's the best travel hack I can tell anybody. Go where your money goes the furthest. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Where you gonna get more bang for the buck at? Yeah. Now, you a married man, Jason? No. Nope. All right. Are you? you? Yes, I am. I've been married for going on uh, 15 years. Oh, 15 years. And, yeah. and so and you've been doing this for 16 years. Yeah. It, it look, could, looks like uh, the, the shoe shine stand was good luck for you, and you got a wife out of it. It's been a blessing for me. It's been a blessing for me, Jason. It really has, and I'm very thankful for that, you know? But I knew that that long distance tractor trailer driving wouldn't have been no good for me and my wife. I see, I see. Married man, you know, responsibilities at home. And you can't do that from the road, man. No, that's that's a, that's good for good for bachelor life. Yeah, exactly. It's good for that bachelor's life. It's still living single, but not for no, not for you and your wife, huh? Now I'm curious, Jason. Now these are classic tennis shoes. Now how old? How many years are they? How old are these? Um, I'm not quite sure when these were first designed. But you're right that they are, they were originally designed as tennis shoes. Yeah, yeah. Made for tennis. Yeah, because you don't, you don't see a lot of this style anymore of, of tennis shoes. With yeah. Like, with Adidas. Now this was a tennis, uh, a, play, a tennis on the court shoe? Yeah. Okay. Actually made for tennis. All right. So these are officially tennis shoes. Now, have you played but now tennis before? <laughs> Everybody just wears my street shoes. They're now. traveling shoes. Tennis. They're traveling shoes. Now, yeah. did, have you played tennis in your life? <laughs> not, not much. <laughs> not much. A little bit. 
<laughs> it's a great workout. Oh yeah. Yeah, you see how that alcohol, that acetone that really cleans them white a little bit, makes them look more whitish? Yeah, it's totally cleaning them up. It's getting that dirt all, cleaning the dirt up. That's yeah, what I need. Yeah. yeah, if I just use like some dishwashing soap or something, that wouldn't do it. No, uh-uh. Uh, be only because it would leave some kind of, it would leave a little bit of residue and you know, it makes a difference. Now, you know, uh, Baltimore, here at the Penn Station, Baltimore, Jason, I have yeah. one request from myself to you. Yes. Now, don't go out here and get my tennis shoes dirty. <laughs> I gotta That's keep all. clean now, right? That's all, Ben. I'll try. That's all, Jason. That's all. <laughs> don't get the tennis shoes dirty. Sometimes people step on my tennis shoes when I'm in New York City. Like, I get on the subway, there's somebody steps on my shoes. I sit down, somebody walks by, steps on my shoes. They, 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 they be hating on you, Jason. They be hating on you, They're man. They're just jealous of my stance. They're steps. jealous, Jay. They're jealous. <laughs> All right, sir. How's that to you, Jay? All right, let's take a look then, oh. since you're asking. That's a lot whiter, a lot whiter, right on. Look at that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna fix my tongue, put it, stick it up, make it look, make it look styling, okay, right there. Jason, okay. All right, my man, thank you. You're welcome, Jason. I appreciate you coming back, coming down here and doing this and taking the time out to share with me. Thank you so much, Jason. I appreciate you too, Carlos. Thanks. How much is this uh, cleanup here? Well. For you, Jason, nothing. What? Nothing? That's what I just said. Come on. You you're, sure? You're an anthropologist. You're a, you're a pathologist. You're a... Uh... Actually, it's true. I am doing... It, it is pretty much anthropology. Doing yeah. it, it's, it's, it's the study of, uh, of, of awesome uh, humans that, that, that do amazing work and, and how they're doing it. Well, I appreciate you, man. All right? You, you sure? Uh, 100% sure. Echo? What is there? Echo? All right. I said, okay. Jason, I appreciate you and thank you. All right. Thank you too. You have a good day, man. All right. You have a good day too. All right, Jason. I thank hope you, more sir. people come over here. The map link is down below in case you want to come and see Carlos. He's got a partner also, John Paul. You, you've seen his videos on my channel. I want to thank you all for watching. Wish you peace, love, health, and happiness. Remember the love, and I'll see you in the next video. Anything else to say, Carlos? That's it, Jason. Don't get my shoes dirty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right on. See you next video. Bye-bye.
Peace.